and welcome to this very short tutorial video where hopefully I'll try and get your Apple TV box working again. Of this fault, it's no picture on the screen, just a little white flashing light on the unit. Makes no difference if you turn it on or off, it stays the same. So to fix this problem, we're going to have to take the Apple TV box and connect it to either a PC or an Apple Mac computer back of the box you'll see above the HDMI lead a USB slot and you need one of those very thin USB connection leads now make sure you're using a good quality one here because some of the cheaper ones are charge only you need a charge and sync I'm using one from a Kindle the next stage is to get the Apple TV recognized by iTunes now then there are apparently four versions of Apple TV still knocking about I'm using version 3 now on my version the box has to be powered and connected by USB for the computer to recognize it but I believe some of the earlier versions you don't need to power the box so you can have to experiment either or either and find out which one works for your box successfully connected you can go ahead and launch iTunes and what you're looking for is a little box that pops up and says we store Apple TV so go ahead and click that and then as these other menus come up well just sort of click yes and next and agree to accept all the conditions etc so all we are in doing here in fact is just restoring Apple TV back to its default settings well hopefully that will clear the fault um, just you know things you look out for on the box itself you'll see that the light is flashing sort of slower now and that lets you know that the Apple TV box is now downloading on a Windows device yeah you'll see a little dings and pop-ups sort of come up on the taskbar but then hopefully as you go through this your final screen you're looking for is this one here that pops up and that tells you everything is fully restored on your Apple box so now you can disconnect it reconnect it back to your TV you hopefully see the white Apple logo appear you'll see the progress bar go along and eventually you'll end up back into the setup screen because yeah we have come back to default settings so you're gonna have to go through this all over again but hopefully that's it everything will appear as normal the flashing light will now just be a solid normal white lead and everything is going to work fine so that's great i hope that's helped you please like the video please subscribe as well and i'll catch you all on the next one bye bye now